and welcome to Viewpoint on Ukraine Today, where right now we are joined by Alia Shranda, the managing editor of the Euromaidan Press media outlet. Alia, thank you very much for joining us again on Ukraine Today. Thank you for inviting me. So what we would like to speak with you about today is an initiative which was launched earlier this year called Let My People Go. Now, I understand that you are currently working with Euromaidan Press to help a number of political prisoners, 21 of them, I believe, yes? So you're helping people to send postcards and Christmas greetings to these guys which are being held captive in Russia. So yes, we're calling on uh, people all around the world, Ukrainians and non-Ukrainians, to support the 21 Ukrainians um, imprisoned in Russia, accused falsely of different crimes, uh, only for to create an image of a terrorist, um, this image that is so needed for Russian media today to create this. Um, feeling of danger for the Russian population. Well, anyways, 21 Ukrainians are being held on surreal charges and totally can judged in kangaroo courts and sentenced to decades of prison. And uh, the very least that we can do is to send them um, a postcard uh, showing our support and our attention this Christmas. So as we're at this time of year, we're in the festive period, you feel it's important to show that the world has not forgotten about these guys? Yeah. Yes, but and we know um, the prisoners themselves, they let us know that this is very important to them. It is based, for some of them, it is what keeps them alive and keeps them going. Okay, so aside from the, the, the festive time of year that we're in, what have you been doing to help these, these prisoners and make people aware of mm -hmm. what's happening? Well, the campaign Let My People Go was launched by Yermairan SOS and the Center for Civil Liberties, and um, there's a lot of work that they are doing with um, lawyers, with representatives of, of uh, international politics, with uh, government agencies. Um, and uh, this behind-the-scenes work is what, um, what actually gets people released. Uh, what we are helping with is uh, the media coverage, is to making their plight more visible. Because um, when people know about um, the problem, it becomes important and it becomes important for media and for politicians so we're helping to raise awareness about um, the plight of these people. Okay, so that's, that's your main focus is raising awareness of these 21 yes. political prisoners, some of which are very high profile. I mean, many people around the world would have heard of uh, Sensov, Savchenko, but the others would somewhat be swept under the carpet, some could yes, say. Yes, yes, and this is why we are launching a site uh, that will be opened hopefully soon um, that, that will tell about the fates and um, biographies and cases of all the 21 prisoners. Um, it's great that the world knows about Alexensov and Nadia Savchenko, but uh, in fact, we want to get um, everybody released and to make sure that nobody is forgotten. Okay. So as we're entering a new year going into 2016, what do you really expect from, from the government, from the parliament, in this, the plight of these political mm -hmm. prisoners? Well, first of all, I would like to note that there is actually a lot of constructive work going on and um, the, and the working groups um, uh, in, that, uh, in which many organizations are participating, um, there's a lot being done. But what we would like um, to ask our government to do, and we insist on this, and that um, all the 21 prisoners would be included into the exchange lists to be exchanged uh, for um, Russian prisoners under a min Minsk agreement. Mm -hmm. So you said already a lot was being done. Can you tell us about some of the things which are happening? Well, um, there's a lot of work being um, communication with lawyers and international pressure and statements from uh, politicians all around the world to release the prisoners. And um, <clears throat> we also have to remember this uh, um, success case of Yuri Yatsenko, who was released, actually, and he came back with a harrowing story of torture that he experienced and that he was close to death. And we can only imagine what our other prisoners Yes, so to speak, speak of Yuri, he was speak, uh, came back, came out of, of imprisonment and spoke of, of much torture, uh, he which spoke, he underwent. Yes, and now he goes around the world telling about the fates of Ukrainian political prisoners and raising awareness about the issue. So we've heard many, many Western leaders um, call on Russia to, to release these prisoners. For one, John Kerry, the US Secretary of State, uh, called on Russia. Uh, many, many others have done the same. Really, what impact do you see this having on Russia? We, say, we see one released, 21 are still there. 21 are still there, yes, but um, I think everywhere that Putin goes, he will be faced with calls to release option, to release political prisoners that will always be um, a point of pressure on him. So the more that people know about them, the more pressure there can be. 
OK. So your Maidan Press um, and, and the Let My People Go initiative, this is more supporting the, the prisoners themselves mentally uh, by showing that people care about them than, than pressuring the government, the Russian government. Is that right? Well, uh, it's also part of raising awareness. Uh, of course, it's about supporting them, first of all, but also raising awareness. When people see this call on social media to write a postcard, then they will maybe get interested about these people and they will see that other people are sending postcards. And okay. It's also spreading. Burning news. And where do you see Welcome. these postcards coming from out of interest? Are they coming from uh, within from the country? From Estonia, or? from Finland, from Australia. People from Ukraine are sending postcards too. So many other, many, many countries. So you're seeing the international community really getting involved and getting behind this initiative? Yes, yes. yes. And some people that are not Ukrainians. Uh, for instance, we uh, we have this article not long ago, learn Russian with your Maidan press, write a letter to Ukrainian political prisoner, because uh, only letters in Russian mm -hmm. will come through. So many people that want to write a letter, they don't know Russian, and we made it for them, and they're writing it <laughs> no. So if the letters are sent in English, they will not be sent? Um, yes, because uh, the prison wards are checking them uh, for terrorism notes or extremist extremist content. Okay. So some political prisoners are being held in, in Russia, but there are also some being held in the so-called DNR and LNR territories in eastern Ukraine. How were you able to get in touch with these guys? Well, um, actually, we're not able to get in touch with these guys because uh, it's, it's very difficult establishing their, even their identities. And the DNR and LNR, it's a whole different story. And uh, we're sure that our list is far from being complete. Um, well, the more well-known prisoners are the ones in Russia, 13 of them, but there are also eight in occupied Crimea, most of whom are uh, Crimean Tatars that opposed Russian occupation. Um, so... We're sure that our list is actually, it should be much larger, but we're okay. working on establishing. So you think plus. there's significantly more than 21 political we're prisoners? We're sure and uh, that in the LNR and DNR, there are also prisoners that should be added to the list. OK, so we spoke about your expectations from the, from the government and the president for 2016. But if we look back at the previous year, 2015, what can you say you have achieved? What we have achieved? Well, um, we've started covering... Um, many different complicated topics in, U in Ukraine. Um, we've started covering corruption and reforms. Um, we've started... Um, um, and... You mean cover covering these topics in the English language and, and broadcasting topics... this information to, to the world, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what has uh, Let My People Go achieved in the last year? I guess the release of Yuri Yatsenko is mm. the number one uh, moment that we have to remember. <laughs> but also uh, creating this list of 21 prisoners and starting to bring attention to um, the fates of all of them and not only the well-known ones. This is also important. So you would say with, with the release of Yuri, you're very satisfied with, with what has been achieved in the last year? Well, of course, it's wonderful mm -hmm. that a person has returned. That means that our efforts are not in vain. And how much would you say the how much impact would you say let my people go actually had on the release of Yuri? Well, there was a lot of work being done with um, with the lawyers and behind the scenes work that it, it was um, it was many people contributed to it. So it's part of the success of the campaign. OK, that's fantastic. So yeah. if we can just come back to the postcards for one moment. Um, you're seeing these, these postcards being sent to these political prisoners from people, as you said, all around the world. So what kind of messages can you say people are telling to these prisoners? Well, we have to um, keep away from politics, otherwise the letters will not be delivered. But just messages like, Merry Christmas, we are waiting for you, we remember you, we, and we wish you strength. All of these messages, they do. OK, so anything political we're, we're not able no. to touch on no, as, no, as far no, no. as these prisoners go? Nothing political, just letters of support, just letters saying that we remember about you. We are waiting for you to return home. And the response of the political prisoners maybe comes through their lawyers or are they able to respond to these yes, letters in are. some cases? Yes, they are. They send uh, replies and um, actually... I've, uh, from my friends that wrote Nadia Saushenko, she has um, answered every one of their letters. So. Actually, there's a very good chance that you will receive a reply if you send. So people around yeah. the world are actually going to receive replies written I personally so. from, from these prisoners they're writing yes. to. That's fantastic. Alia, that is all we have time for. Again, thank you for joining us at Ukraine Today. Thank you. You have been watching Viewpoint on Ukraine Today, where we have been joined by Alia Shranda, the managing editor of the Euromaidan Press media outlet. Thank you for watching.